feel the thing backfired because I didn't realize that the potatoes you put in it had to be cooked before you put them in. So they didn't cook and I had to put all the whole thing in the air fryer, like my whole serving. And then later I'll just put the rest of it in the air fryer. It's not that bad though. It is supposed to snow this week. This is important. I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to go to the store and get some of the necessities that I need to make sure that we are all cozy and fed if it snows before everyone else panics and goes and buys up all the eggs and milk. Okay, I got my groceries and now I'm gonna make coffee before this next meeting. Friday and it is raining so much. It's not snow yet, but I think we're getting there. I have to run a couple errands today. Really just one. I need to go get bone broth because most of my meal plans for the weekend involve soup. So I need to go pick up broth because for some reason the store didn't have it yesterday. So I need to go to a different store to pick up some bone broth so I can make this soup tonight. My toxic trait is that I always double up recipes. So we will be eating the soup for the entire weekend if we need to. <laughs> I'm just focusing on cozy recipes. So like tonight I'm making this soup that we'll probably also have in, for a couple days. I have several cozy recipes that I'm gonna try and make this weekend. I think we're probably gonna make breakfast for dinner at one point or just like a good brunch. I romanticize snow days so much. Like I'm just sitting here and I'm like, if our friends make it over here, in the snow or before it starts snowing, that we can all have a sleepover and we can have brunch the next morning. I'm aware that this is a ridiculous romanticization that I have in my head. So all that to say, I'm going to go get bone broth at some point. I have a couple meetings, just working. Part of me is like I bought the walking pad for this very reason, for these rainy days, and I can walk even though it's raining. And the other part of me has been on the couch all morning working because I want to be cozy while it's raining. There's two wolves. I'm trying to decide if there's anything else I need to get because tomorrow is Saturday and everyone is going to panic about the snow and they're all going to go buy up everything. So if there's anything I need, I darn well better get it today. And then tonight I have just a really, I'm feeling very productive. So I'm going to try and get like a lot of editing done and that's pretty much it right now. And then tomorrow, I don't know, the world is our oyster. The world is our pre-snow day oyster. It is so weird just like waiting for the cold to hit because it's like 50 degrees right now. <laughs> it's 50 degrees and it's like 430 and it's supposed to be 30 at 10 I think so in like six hours. 32 at 10 is 30 at 11 and then by tomorrow morning it will be 24. <laughs> so yeah just kind of waiting for it to get cold and I need to go get bone broth. I'm gonna go do that now and I also need to get pliers because it is time. It is time for the tinsel to go. I just don't have the right type of, uh, type of pliers to like crimp the bead to take it out. So I'm gonna grab those. I feel like there was one more thing that I need. Oh, gnocchi. I need gnocchi. I should make myself a list.
do a full outfit change when you get in the car. What do you mean? I just put a jacket you always, on. You always change ja your jacket and your hat. I didn't have a jacket on before. That's fair. But sometimes you do. And I knew I was going to wear my beanie. Fair. We're okay. going to Bradley Mountain. Because where else would we be Unless going? I kick you out of this car for <laughs> calling me out. That's <laughs> what you get. It's like genuinely snow. <laughs> I'm doing it's be... a walkabout. We'll see if in the uh, snow. We'll see if it's I'm gonna unfreeze by Tuesday. I don't think it will. By Tuesday? What happened? You knocked me out. Are you sure? Uh -huh. What's the magic word? You let me in. That's not it. I love you. That's not it. Day. That's it. That's, the day. That's what it was. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Not frozen one. Christian wants to go outside. Christian really wants to go outside, actually. You want to go out? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm opening the door. It's happening. It's going on. What do you think? You can go out in it if you want.
keeps stepping off of this. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you ready? I'll So it's stuff at like three or four. My thing. Yeah, threw your coffee on the ground. That would be awful. This is where I came with uh David and rode one wheel or rode or rode his unicycle. Absolutely destroyed my knee. Where's the hill? Hi. Hi. What's up? You see that dirt right there? Tells a story. Today, this bench tells a story. Multiple people wanting to sit, but not taking enough time to clean the whole bench off. It's an allegory for your life. What bench are you only partially clearing off? Join me. I made room. That's it, you can cut it. Bucky's Old Navy Old Navy hoodie Old Navy thermal shirt Target Marana thermal pants so Me undies Oh my gosh You had to check to see what underwear you were wearing? Yeah Alright I couldn't remember That's right. Two pairs of fleece leggings I don't know I don't know where I got it all I've had them for like literally 10 years. Cat, Memphis Animal Shelter. <laughs> Turtleneck, Old Navy as well actually, still not sponsored. Sweater, this is 100% Angora wool. It's the best, one of the best purchases I've ever made from the find because it has been a lifesaver during days like today. Fainting goat beanie. It's not where we're going for coffee, but coffee shops are like concerts. You never wear the merch for the concert you're going to. You wear it for other concerts you've been to. So that you look cool. That's how people know you're cool. Wait, I'm gonna wear my dairy shirt to the dairy concert. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Three people scarf. And it has coffee that I spilled on it, frozen and dried on it now. Yesterday. And then these Bernie overalls, man. They have, this is the splurge that I did last year. Because every time it snowed, I was like, man, I want like, hardcore snow snow girls, if you will and these things keep you warm dude anyway i'm not putting that on yet because we're not going out of the house if i put them on the house i'll immediately start sweating
Wife who dies at the beginning of the movie. That's true. <laughs> the wave gives big wife who's about to die. Snow. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shady Jarman. This is. Where'd my wife go? Look at the cardinal. Look at the cardinal. Oh. No. How are you going to see if it's here in the screen? I can see. I'm a cinematographer. That's my wife. My wife. Ah. It's my YouTube channel now. Should have never given me the camera. We are at the store because Caleb is getting baby oil for his sled because he wants to go faster. We're going to a different hill because the first hill was not fast enough. So, what did you pick up? WD 40, a chamois, and baby oil. Why'd you get a chamois? So I could put the baby oil on the chamois and then wipe down the the board. Okay. We're gonna go take off. Oh man, I don't want to end up in the emergency room. I am room a mill today. buster. I shall not be in the emergency room. It's either my bed or the morgue. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I slipped like 20 feet on my body. That's awesome. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> My toes is froze and my nose is froze. And I have been concussed. We don't know that for sure. I haven't been concussed. My head doesn't hurt anymore. I really hope not. How do you feel? Oh, I feel pretty good, Lois. How do you feel like your, your science experiment went? I was so fast. Do you feel like it was successful? I feel like it was. Do you feel like it had anything to do with the baby oil and WD-40? Yeah. That's I feel, good. I feel like without the baby oil, without the WD-40, I would not have so many injuries. <laughs> and my beard is actually frozen. So, good morning, it's Wednesday. I am cold in my house. <laughs> Last night our power went out for an hour and it was honestly so stressful because we're both thinking like seven steps ahead about what if the power's out for multiple days? Like, what do we do with the pets? <laughs> what do we do to keep warm right now? Like, if we sleep another hour and see if it comes back on, are we gonna freeze to death? <laughs> I mean, I've lived in Tennessee my whole life, but this kind of temperature is not something we typically deal with, and I've not typically had a power outage during the cold, which is a huge blessing. So, we get up at 2 a.m. We can tell when the power goes out because we always have Google Home 
running rain sounds while we sleep and so if it goes off it's like eerily quiet and then we realize that the power's out. Finally around 2 30 we decided we're gonna go to his parents house because it's nearby pack up what we needed and then come back after when it got daylight and get the pets and take them over there. So no sooner do we walk out the door walk out the door to leave at like 3 a.m. and literally Caleb is like getting in the car and I'm about to walk out the house and the power comes back on. For reference, it is currently, okay, it's been a lot warmer in the last couple hours. It's currently 18. An hour ago, it was like three degrees outside. So it's quickly going up now that the sun's out, which is nice. It's actually supposed to hit 30 today and it's the high, so it's, it's going up quite a bit. Heating is not working incredibly well, and it's set to 75, but it's registering at like 50. Which could just be what everyone's seeing, but I called the HVAC company and they said they would send someone out because they said that should not be how what it's doing. I also might go to a coffee shop this afternoon just for the warmth. <laughs> Assuming that the coffee shop would be warmer than my house. So yeah, we had a lot of fun yesterday. I chickened out on a lot of the sledding, most of the sledding actually, but I had a lot of fun time being there. I just couldn't, if there's a hill that I can't see the bottom of, that's a no for me. I have cracked my tailbone in my youth and in, tailbones don't really heal. So I'm always paranoid about that. And the last one we went to had a dip at the end, like a ramp up at the end. And that just couldn't be me. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. It was a beautiful time. I love being out there. I'm gonna figure out something to do this afternoon where I can kind of get out in it again because I just enjoy walking around and seeing the snow everywhere. So when I figure out where I'm going to copy, I, you'll be the first to know. Town coffee which is off of the square and I'm just gonna go work there for a little bit and hopefully it'll be warmer than my house to be fair my house has warmed up a little bit it's almost almost at 60 it's like 58 ish but my hands were just getting so cold while I was trying to type so plus I think a change of scenery will be good a change of scenery is always good for me I'm a big change of scenery gal so I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and then It'll be nice to be on the square, see what the square looks like all snowy, I've not been down that way. So yeah, that's the plan right now. I got here and they only have drip right now. I guess their espresso's down or their brace is not in or something. So I think I'm gonna go somewhere else. Okay, well I'm at Bradley Mountain, so <laughs> I really tried to change it up. Like, I don't mind being a regular somewhere, but Picking one of my favorite coffee shops is like picking a favorite child, and so I like like going to different ones periodically and really changing it up. But the one, the other one I was gonna go to besides Mule Town ended up being closed, even though they said they were open online. And then I wanted to go to Colt Persona, but they're also closed because they don't have hot water. So here I am. <laughs> officially 63 degrees in the house still 12 degrees less than what it's set to and I'm pretty sure it's only because the Sun is like blasting through like it does in the afternoon which is nice but I still I'm still waiting on the HVAC call <laughs> I was rambling to the barista which I often do by mistake and I was talking about my issues and he was like yeah we've had similar issues 
And then I continued to talk about my problem and I said, and I mentioned that there was like a 20 degree difference between what it was set to. And he was like, oh yeah, no, that sounds like a problem. <laughs> because he's, he was like, yeah, ours is like two degrees lower than what we're setting it to. Anyway, I'm gonna make some soup. In case you're curious, this is the soup I'm making. It is from Aldi. They have these little self-serve organic healthy soups right now-ish soups. All right, so this one is Cauliflower Gold, not sponsored. I've just made my soup. I'm gonna finish out this vlog here. I feel like this was a lot of fun. I did a lot of snowy activities and I hope you enjoyed getting to see all the snow day fun that we had and I loved it. It was great. I Hopefully this will not be the last snow for this season. Knowing Tennessee it probably will be but it would be nice to get another one. So thanks for coming out. Thanks for being here. Like and subscribe if you feel compelled to give me a leg up in the algorithm. And I will see you again soon.